Okay, and welcome to part one of installing the kit app template for kit 107. The first thing we're going to do is start out in Windows. Now, obviously, you can use Linux. If you want to use Linux, that's fine. We support both. But in Windows, I'm just going to type in the CMD, which gives us the Windows command panel. And you can use PowerShell, of course, if you want to. All right, so we're starting out in my default directory, which is, in my case, C users Richard. And I want to change back to the root of the C drive. So you can install it wherever you want. If you want to install it here, you can, but I like to put it in my own unique location. So I'm just going to go back to the C drive. I can also pick the D drive as well, just to prove that you can put it pretty much anywhere you want. Okay, so back to the C drive now, and I'm going to run the command that is from the website on GitHub. I'm just going to paste that directly in with copy and paste. And that is basically a Git command to go ahead and clone the repository from our GitHub repository. Okay, after that's done, we want to just change to the correct directory, which is in this case is CD kit app template. And then once we're in CD kit app template, we want to go ahead and run the main command, which is repo.bat and then template new. So repo.bat is a standard command we're going to use a lot in this tutorial. And then we just add the words template new. That's going to go ahead and prompt you to accept the the EULA, the NVIDIA Software License Agreement, obviously you have to hit yes to proceed. And then we're going to have to pick our template. In this case, we're going to go ahead and pick number two, which is the USD Composer template, although we have other templates available. After that, we want to go ahead and give it a unique name. We can accept the default name if you want to, but it's nice to give it a unique name. So I'm going to call it My Awesome App. And I'm going to name it both in the kit file and also in the, the title bar of the window as well. For the version number, we're just going to keep it default 0.1. The next question we get asked is all about the application extension. We're just going to go ahead and accept these as defaults. I'm not going to get into that too much now. You can name that as a custom name as well, but I'm just going to accept the defaults. Okay. And then the final question you get asked is, do you want to accept the application layer. Now we have a separate video on that coming specifically on the application layer. So I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit no. And then once we've hit no, all we have to do is run the build command. So again, it's repo.bat just like before. And we're just going to hit build on the end of that. Okay. So now it's building. This can take anywhere from 30 seconds to maybe two minutes, depending on the speed of the computer and the speed on the connection. All right, looks like it's just finishing up. Good. All right, so it finished successfully. It says build succeeded, 16 seconds. The next thing we want to do is just to launch the app. So once again, we hit repo.bat, and then this time we add the word launch, and that's going to launch the actual kit app. Okay, so we're looking at about, hopefully around 30 seconds to actually install this and run this for the first time. After about 30 seconds, you should see in the command panel RTX ready, which means the app is fully installed and it's ready to use. So that's it, that's our kit app template successfully built. And what I like to do is just open up one of the demo files just to make sure everything looks correct. In this case, I'm using the astronaut file. 